And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Vladimir Thresh. That's right, we are going to be playing a Vladimir deck. We've been doing pretty good today, so we decided to get a little bit of a challenge with some Vladimir. Um, Vladimir is Harvey's favorite champion. You see she came up here, she's super excited now. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be playing this this deck. This is going to be with Thresh, Vladimir, Harrowing. This was a donation deck that that was... That was the thing, build a deck with Thresh, Vladimir, Harrowing, and this is what we got. Um, we're going to have our Crimson units kind of in the beginning. We're going to be trying to deal Nexus damage and try to have the Nexus damage matter with the Vladimir. So we're going to have like Crimson Disciple, when it survives damage, it does Nexus damage. We have Demolitionist dealing Nexus damage. Also have a couple Noxion Fervors in here. So the hope is to be able to, um, you know, level, you know, level up your Vladimir, be able to attack and drain the enemy nexus for a bunch now maybe we can have like you know multiple you know thresh bring in vladimir we have multiple vladimir's die rekindler bring back vladimir and then eventually we harrowing and we put a bunch of vladimir's into play and drain him for a bunch now the problem with that is i actually because i i've had multiple vladimir's in here and so the problem is Multiple Vladimir's don't deal damage to each other. It's really weird. Like, let's say... Okay, let's say we play a Harrowing. All right? And we have six things attacking. And two of them are Vladimir's. How it works is the Vladimir does not deal damage to any card named Vladimir. So neither Vladimir deals damage to themselves. So they both will drain for four. So you'll, you will get two drain abilities, but you'll have two drain for four abilities. So that actually can be a little bit of a problem if we end up getting like four Vladimir's because none of them will <laughs> drain anything, uh, um, any other Vladimir's. Because yeah, the text doesn't say like drain your other allies. It says drain, you know, anything that's not named Vladimir. So it's it's kind of weird in that respect. And I I don't I wonder if that's like an oversight or anything. Like I wonder if that could be changed because that <laughs> that would be better if it was drain all of them, but. Um, you know, if we get, like, four Vladimirs, we'll have, like, four, like, Drain 2s instead of four Drain 5s. But anyway, we're still going to try it out. We're going to be playing these together and with Harrowing and trying to win like that. So let's go play five games over in Ranked. We'll see if we can uh, get another 4-1 and finish with three 4-1s on the day. That would be absolutely amazing, but it be tough to do. We have one Ruination for the War Mother's Call deck. Um, Withering Whale go away. Rekindler go away for now. And we'll just start with Curator and Vladimir. Like, literally, that's what we're going to start with. Curator and Vladimir. I wasn't joking. I'd like to draw one of our nine twos. Maybe play here. Nope. Slow hand. It's got people in chat calling for a 5 0. We got one people calling saying that we're going to go 0 6. We're not going 0 6. I do think it's I think it's very possible this deck is just completely better as Hecarim instead of Thrash. Also. Those of y'all watching this later. It's a distinct possibility they're just playing playing the exact same 37 cards and just replacing Thrash with Hecarim may make this better. Because because of Hecarim with Harrowing, how powerful that is. So basically, I'm playing the Vladimir so that we get Transfusion. It's nothing personal. I basically just want to have Transfusion available so I can have Transfusion on the Vladimir to be able to take down Trundle. They block over there. One suffers, another thrives. All right, I'm gonna take down this weirding stones. Try to slow them down a little bit. And 
Troll Chant's always such a beating in every play against this deck. It's already hard enough to kill four health things. This deck was definitely better whenever Crimson Disciple would do two damage. Or like if we just start leading with a bunch of Crimson Disciples, do two damage with all this, these things to their Nexus. Like we could, you know, we could really burn them out. I guess I just play Thresh. Yeah, I didn't ping the 3-3 three, three for a card. I don't know, because I was thinking that then they would kill the... I guess maybe I should have. I was thinking that maybe then they, they would kill my 3-3 three, three with like a... Vile Feast or Withering Well, but that doesn't even matter because the Trundle regenerates, so... Yeah, I guess I probably just should have. We each died, then found home. Man, they really don't like my Vladimirs. Alright, down to 11. That was a nice hit for 4. Right, go another Rekindler. I certainly see them playing Ruination this turn. If I, if I go Rekindler, that is. Come, Clara, we have much to teach you. I can't wait. Bow to your king! Get ready for a beatdown! My time! It's just blood, darling. Is that all? Down to ten. Yeah, I guess that's true. Ruination wouldn't be that bad because out harrowing. I guess that's true. Good call. Uh, never mind. I thought I was gonna be able to go Curse Keeper, Demolicious, and then Harrowing, but never mind. I'm one short. I forgot we're not, you know, we're not enlightened like they are. If they don't break, All right, still doing that. Make the Empire proud. It's a difficult turn, and I'm not saying that I'm making this turn correct or anything. I'm doing the correct stuff. Really wish we had one more mana so that we would be able to answer Ruination with Harrowing. Icequake. Okay, so Icequake levels up Thresh. Thresh puts in Harrowing. Uh, sorry, Thresh, Thresh puts in Vladimir. So we can Transfusion, we can save something. Should we save... No, because if we save Crimson Disciple, it goes down to... No, so it's got to be the Curator that we're saving. Yeah, it's either the Curator or the Escaped Abomination. It makes more sense for the Curator. So we're going to go this route. Because we want... Whatever we save, we don't want it to have just one health. We don't want it to die to Vladimir. I can't wait. Advent. So if, if Crimson Disciple still dealt two, oh, dear. What have you got us into now? we would have already had a lot of damage and we have more. I'll just keep the Crimson Disciple alive, that's what we'll do. We'll just keep this Crimson Disciple alive, and they can kill one of my Crimson uh, units. They can pick which one of those they want to kill.
Oh, I don't have the mana. <laughs> I got so excited. All right, so they're down to one. If only Crimson Disciple was doing two damage. Ooh, unspeakable oh, horror. That's some damage. Turn. So yeah, I feel like they're gonna be trying to win with Atrocity. This is gonna be fun. Or like, that's their plan. Atrocity. But we just won this game right now. So I get to just let this happen because we're going to get priority next. So don't block so that we get priority. We get priority. We do this. They don't get to respond. That's one damage. Game over. And there we go. One to know. Well, that was a great win. That was a great showing of Vladimir also. Vladimir did a lot. That was a great one. Um, Vengeance would be good against Darius like in the late game, but we got a mulligan to try to start off earlier. I do like Thresh against Aggro, and Imperial Demolitionist is a two drop. We may not get much of like, as far as like these actual skills on the Demolitionist, we may not actually do them too much. May just be playing vanilla two mana two threes. But that's how it goes. Okay. We weren't expecting callers. There's nothing to fear. So vanilla two mana two three couldn't block any of these anyway. Get her out from the darkness. Remember the objectives. The few for the many. <laughs> yeah, the... Uh, the attack token's been pretty good for these aggro decks. Let me change into something more comfortable. Today. That's how it is. Strike at the foundations! If I go Crimson Awakener first, gives them a really good easy block with like Precious Pet on here, but then we're also attacking with the 5-5. Five -five. Yeah, we'll see with that Harrowing. It may come into play, maybe not. Still have never, ever had an opponent miss with Stalking Shadows. Uh, it's Arachnoid Horror, so they have another Arachnoid Horror in hand. We do know they have... Do know they have that. Our right, Vladimir's leveling up. We're at four. Yep, four out of six. That one. Spider Queen Elise is good. It's it's very effective being able to decide how you want to block and also decide how I want to block. They just completely own combat. Quite effective. Do anything there. GG's. One and one. I like that. I like that bruised by bruised. Like, what if. Yeah, what if Vladimir just had lifesteal, just in general? Just like the same card, but then also had lifesteal. I like that. Yeah, that would definitely make him a lot better. I like that. 
I love Vengeance against Vi. Let's keep these. No, I mean, Vladimir doesn't have re regen. Leveled up Vladimir has regen. But, like, what if, like, regular Vladimir just had lifesteal and also... I'll try anyone. Leveled up Vladimir had, you know, lifesteal My and regen. Yeah, kind of like a different Garen. Clad in shining sunlight. Would be good. This is a poor turn for me. It'd be good to have my things die for whenever Thresh is in play. Let's see if they want to pass turn also. That's pretty awesome. I'm happy for that. Here comes the punchline. There's nowhere to hide. It's good to have things die whenever Thresh is in play. They are not. Not a ruination deck themselves. We don't need to worry about that. I found my family, my bloodkin. All right, so I can just glimpse beyond the curse keeper now. Uh, we'll just save. We'll just save our man and wait. Um, but yeah, I was gonna be able to like transfusion and get like a surprise four three. But now that I have these crimson curators, that we were gonna want to transfusion. Get infinite Crimson Curators. Cool. Take more transfusion. Vladimir. Alright, where are you at, Thresh? Three? Three's not enough. You must be Lord Vladimir. And you must be supper. Huh. Attack. So my plan is to transfusion the Thresh. That's the plan. Not sway me. Just taking it all. Strength through suffering. So I'll be leveled up Thresh, and then Vladimir will be five out of six. We can level up Vladimir with a transfusion. Oh, this hurts. Sun sets. It's over when I say. So not looking too bad. Uh -huh. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. Obliterate would be bad. Okay, it didn't get obliterate to start with. Double obliterate would be even worse. Each journey is a discovery. I have the blade. If they just grabbed the double obliterate, fashion. that'd be even worse. Such rich blood. That's like the you know the downfall for us. Double obliterate. But they have two pale cascades? My sweet little plaything. It only seems like one pale cascade. So Vladimir's actually wait, no, two pale cascades just puts us up to seven. Vladimir's gonna be eight, so actually, so that's fine. Yeah, so that's fine. Ooh. 
Ooh. Still fine. That, but now, now one pale cascade gets him there. I guess I have vengeance. Oh right, I didn't have it. That thing didn't survive damage. Right, my my curse keeper didn't survive damage, so it didn't level up Vladimir. But there you go, they were nice enough to level up Vladimir like that. Let's get a second leveled up Vladimir in here, draining again. So we got two drains, but again, this is going to be two drains for three. Or like, neither one will drain, as we talked about before, neither one drains the other Vladimir. Because for each card other than any card named Vladimir, drain it. So this puts them down to four. It's possible I should be... I could go and speak horror right now before they can heal the Stellicorn. We've seen them have a lot of healing. But, oh well. I wouldn't have Nightfall turned on. I don't think. I don't think we played anything this turn. No. Let me show you what I can do. Blood isn't a toy, dear. People Sickness. All right, GGS. Vladimir Thresh picking up another win. Two and one. They got Hecarim. I'm jealous. Ruination's good against Hecarim. But do we want to keep a Ruination in our opening hand? But this is this is probably a harrowing deck as well, right? Trundle, Hecarim, harrowing. So like their harrowing we have Ruination for. Could be very important. So I guess I keep it. Cursed Keeper. Not Cursed Keeper. I must get out of here. This is Curse Keeper. Not Curse Keeper. Nothing escapes my watch. Routes closed. Now Rose and Sentry's awesome. Alright. They're playing right into my hands. They just let us survive. Take damage to survive. Make the Empire proud. Took damage to survive again. Alright, two. Hmm. More weirding stones. Don't have anything to play unless we consider playing Withering Whale. I'm glad we did not play Withering Whale. They want me to do something, and then they play Hecarim. That's what I think was going to happen there. Vaults of Helia. Vaulty Healer could be really nice. The good part about using 
the uh, that card we displayed unspeakable horror is that we still get our cards. We don't lose too much value. It was right on my tail. So that round start happened first. They didn't get the mana. No, okay, that's what I thought. I thought it went from Lecherites. Yeah, they got the mana from Weirding Stones. <laughs> So that's going to be three for Thresh. So now Babbling Beer is going to go put Trundle into play. But each thing that dies is good for my Thresh. Oh. Crumble is awesome. Light the signal fire. Crumble is awesome. Mother Moon Veil. These are trolls. This is kind of a problem because now Ice Pillar can put Whatever. Yeah, you know, like Ice Pillar put Ledros into play. What, do I need a Ruination? This is, this is a great combination. They just had like that, that part they just had there. That's a great combination. Especially Ice Pillar with Vault of Helia. That is awesome. Okay, I have eight mana, so I can't cast Ruination. So I guess that answers that question. If they're out there, I'll spot them. Oh, no nine drop. In Avarosa's name. One smack will do. Your path ends here. It does get Vladimir closer. So if I couldn't pass, yeah, you know, like they pass over to me, so I had to play my four drop to get them to play the Hecarim they drew with Babbling Bjerg. Cool, they didn't have anything else to play here. Great vengeance draw. I want that card. Come on, Rekindler. You can see the Nebastian border from here. Valley and Bjork has been really important in these games. A couple Thresh. I'll try anyone. I need Vladimir's in play and dead and that kind of stuff first. My turn. 
I don't know why I didn't just play the Crimson Disciple last turn. Should have. All right, now playing against Burn. See if we can get another winning record with a 3-2. Hopefully. Um, we're going to mulligan the Cursed Keeper and the Rekindler. This Cursed Keeper can't block. I mean, I could keep, like, Cursed Keeper with Glimpse Beyond. But that's making me work for a lot of stuff. We're going to keep the Crimson Disciple. And I think I still keep the Glimpse Beyond also. Oh, I, like, I like that Unspeakable Horror. And Vladimir is good too. Coming in hot! Let me show you what I can do. Got something for him! Let's see what you can do. Is that all? Good turn for them. I may not have this nightfall anymore. Ooh. Three mana, three three. I need the reputation. I need more hands! Oh man. Petty Officer is just amazing. They just get a free card now. So for three mana, they get a 3, 1, a 1, 2, and draw card. It's their fleeting card. Remember the objectives. The few for the many. Everyone bleeds for the right prize. Good Crimson Curator draws. Please no Noctrin Fervor. Just let this happen. Wow. That Noctrin Fervor not only was, you know, amazing right there, but that was the card that they got that was fleeting with the Pool Shark. That was the Noctrin Fervor. They just got to play for free. It's incredible. Hello, my darling. That's, so basically... If that if that card that was hit off Pool Shark, you know, was something that just anything in their deck that costs, you know, like three mana or more that you know, not an auction forever, just anything else, we'd be at eighteen right now, and that card would be burned. So like they'd have the same number of cards, but they would just be at eighteen. It's nothing personal. Or we'd be at eighteen, so like that hitting an auction forever there cost us here. four life. Never stop shooting! So Vladimir's at four. Guns blazing. I assume you've come for me. That's fine, we can get Vladimir back with um a lot of stuff. I'm gonna go Crimson Awakener here while I don't have anything else to damage, even though I guess I could have... No, yeah, I like this. So we're gonna level up Vladimir, so Vladimir will do some draining. Now you Be grateful I even noticed you. I am Lord and Master. Yeah, so it'll be a 4 1 elusive with the Vladimir attack with the drain. But we want to heal our Nexus and don't really care about our things dying because our next attack we're going to have harrowing. I am reborn of salt and pride. Things a six six. That's obviously a huge problem. Yeah, whatever. So what do I go here? So we go here, then the six six blocks the five five. Yeah, I guess we go here. We get you know close to killing Gangplank though if we find one of our things that does one damage. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, I think they have to block those because they're life total, so it's not really like they don't... They don't... Oh, man. Gangplank's parlay? Come on. It's not like they don't respect unspeakable horror. But with their life total, they have to. But I think we'll be fine. We take two. Kill that thing. Next turn, harrowing. I think we're okay. Well, that's scary. That's quite scary. All right, GG's. There we go, Harrowing Vladimir with the win. Got the winning record, beat some really good decks. We beat the uh, War Mother's Call deck that had a good hand, and we ended up, you know, Vladimir was crucial in that win, and then we just beat Pirate Burn with Vladimir being crucial in that game also. Awesome, three and two for Vladimir Thresh. Yeah, great, you know, great great showing here. Um, see, Vladimir still, Vladimir can get some wins. And I guess people are talking that, that Vladimir is probably gonna get buffed in uh, upcoming patch that we're likely gonna see. Yeah, I know your favorite champion, Harvey, Vladimir. What's buff? What is gonna get buffed? So maybe Vladimir is gonna get buffed. Maybe um, Make It Rain and Lee Sin getting a little nerfed. The thing is, is like Nox, like think about like Pirate Burn and just like all the Nox, like Noxus Aggro is good. And so like Vladimir being really good and Noxus Aggro already being good, that's also, that's a little scary. Earlier, you know, like while we we're playing those games, I think Bruce said like, what about just keep this card the same, but just uh, Vladimir has lifesteal. I thought that would be, that would make, that would make Vladimir really, really strong if it just had lifesteal. We don't really, I guess we don't really see those kind of huge bodies with lifesteal. Um, but I, that would that'd be one way to really buff it up because then in any kind of like aggro match that you have like a 5-5 lifesteal, that's big. Yeah, but there we go. So there's Vladimir Thresh. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd really appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.